I got reactivated on Uber Eats. Well, so far things have basically been a complete bust. <laughs> It's been almost a full year now since I did my last Uber Eats shift, but we are back on it and surprisingly, wasn't that hard to get back on. Once I put my mind to it and this was something that I wanted to do again, it really wasn't as hard as I was expecting. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you through my entire first month of doing Uber Eats. Now it wasn't that much because I don't do gig work nearly as much as I used to, but it's still one of my income streams and I still enjoy doing it in my free time. So my very first day, I didn't actually film, but I did do a total of three orders, just went out for a quick little ship, nothing major. And I honestly didn't make very good money at all, but it was a Wednesday, so I couldn't be too discouraged. So I decided to go out that following Friday and see if my luck would be any better. So right off the bat, I got those first two orders from Panda Express and 7-Eleven, and I made a total of $11.91 in just 22 minutes. I was feeling really great at this point. And then I was hit with this order. $15.23 for 9.7 miles. Now this order is not as good as it seems on the surface at all. Now keep in mind this is the end of March. For some reason in Utah we've decided to have an eternal winter. And this night down in the valley it was raining a little bit but I didn't even think anything of it until I got this order. And that's because this order ended up taking way longer than it should have. Because it was up the canyon I didn't think that going up the canyon there might be snow considering it was raining down in the valley and so I head up there and as I'm driving up the canyon I'm hit with very bad slippery icy roads because it had been raining and as you get higher in the elevation it was getting colder it was freezing that rain and it was starting to snow on top of that so the roads were terrible heading up the canyon and then once I actually got up to kind of like the neighborhood that's up there I was hit with six feet of snow on both sides of me. You're kidding me right now. <laughs> oh. So that order ended up taking way longer than I wanted it to, and I don't want to say that I went through a near-death experience, but let me tell you, heading down that canyon road with the ice as bad as it was, and not being able to slow down, pretty scary when you're trying to hit your brakes and they're just not working. So after that, I was like, you know what, I'm done. If the roads are going to be this bad, which I didn't know if the roads down in the valley were going to end up getting that way as well, I just decided to call it a night and not risk my life doing Uber Eats anymore. So in my first week back, I ended up only doing those two shifts and I went for three hours and 50 minutes and made just over $46. So yeah, we were starting off not so good. All right, guys, we are back. We're on Uber Eats. You guys already saw how much I've made during my previous shifts. Right now, we are going for a little bit of a mini lunch shift it's not even quite lunch because we started at 120 and the reason I'm all dressed up is because I'm going to film a podcast after this on the channel that I run the Justin Johnson show if you guys want to see me every single week on a podcast you can go check out that channel that's why I'm dressed up today not because I think so highly of Uber Eats but we already got our first order it's a decent one seven dollars for about five miles and it's to Lolo Hawaiian Barbecue. So we just pulled in right now, and I'm honestly just kind of testing things out right now. It has been so long since I've been on Uber Eats. I don't know when the best times are to go out. I don't know the best places to hang out around or anything like that. So right now we're just testing things out. We'll see what happens. Drop off for Alex. Awesome, thank you. Well, so far things have basically been a complete bust. 
I got that order done pretty quickly in like 20 minutes about. So we were on track to make about $21 in our first hour. But then we got a really bad order, which I ended up declining. It was like $5 for nine miles or something like that. And then Uber proceeded to punish me and I did not receive another offer until about 15 minutes later. And it was this one right here, $2 for, I don't remember the mileage, but a very bad order. And guess what? I took it. I don't think there's a tip in this one, obviously, because it's only $2. But I'm thinking maybe the more you accept, the more frequency of orders you get. I don't know. I don't really know how Uber Eats works. So if you guys do, let me know down below in the comments because I'm basically a brand new driver when it comes to Uber right now. We're on our way to this Simply Thai place. Hopefully things turn around in this next hour because we've already gone 40 minutes, only made seven bucks. And after we complete this, it's only gonna be nine bucks in probably our first hour. So yeah, any advice you guys got, I need it right now because we are not doing good. Well, at least the order was ready right when I showed up. It's looking like this order might only take a total of about five minutes. So $2 in five minutes, that's honestly not too bad. I wish this person would have tipped because it would have ended up being a lot better of an order. But anyways, let's go drop it off. Even though I wasn't making the best money, things were going pretty smooth, and that was until this Zupa's order. Hi. Hi. I just had to pick up for Glenn. For Glenn. Yeah. Hey, Glenn. 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 So basically what happened was the order wasn't in the system, blah, blah, blah. You guys know how that goes when you show up to a restaurant and they look at you like you're some crazy person and you're like, no, here's the order right here. And they're like, mm, go back to their computer screen, do a couple of things and then come back to you and they're like, yeah, so your order is not here. And that's basically what happened to me. But luckily they were able to find it eventually. And luckily while I was waiting, I did get a stack order on top of it. And so things ended up not being as bad as they could have, but it still threw a big wrench into my day. So when things like this happen, it can be extremely frustrating. And that's why I wanna tell you about the sponsor of this video, Solo. Solo is a great app to pair with any of your gig apps, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, whatever you're doing on the road, this app is great for it because they have a pay guarantee feature. So when you're stuck waiting at a restaurant like I was, then you can know that Solo has your back and you have that guarantee pay. They also track your mileage for every shift and they have a great feature that helps you with your taxes as well. So if you want all of those great features, make sure you use the link down below in the description I have for you. When you use that link to sign up, you're gonna be getting a bonus $10. So it's really a win-win all the way around. But anyway, thankfully I got that other order and things ended up not being too bad. All right guys, just finished up the shift. We went for two hours. I don't know the total yet because the tips haven't been factored in yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and film this podcast episode, which again, if you guys wanna check out it's on the justin johnson show we talk about all sorts of dope stuff things that have to do with business and ai and all sorts of stuff but yeah i'm gonna go film that and then i'll be back here with the totals once the tips have been factored in i proceeded to go out the next day another wednesday shift and things were absolutely dead while i waited for orders i decided to get some beast burger which was really the only highlight of the night considering i was online for over a half hour and only received one order for $5.46. So now it's been a month and I've done a total of only nine shifts. It's not a lot, but like I said at the beginning of this video, I honestly don't do much gig work anymore because I have other streams of income. I have other things that I'm trying to start up 
other things that I'm trying to do that are just way more worth my time than going out and not getting any orders and making only like 15 bucks an hour, spending a lot of money on gas. So it's still nice to do in my free time here and there, but yeah, I honestly don't go out and do much gig work anymore. But in total for my first month back, I ended up working 16 and a half hours and I made only $205. So that's an average of $12.47 per hour. You can see why I'm hesitant to go out for long stretches because it's just really not cutting it right now. But hopefully I can figure this whole thing out. I can figure out which apps to use at what time of day and start getting some multi-apping going. Because I'm trying to get the hang of Instacart, I got Uber Eats under my belt now. So hopefully I can start mixing and matching things and start making some better money. I'm talking like $25, $30 an hour, but we'll see. So there you guys have it. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.